Hello, and welcome back to the Goodness Margin, a place where we find margin for the good things in life. So today I'm gonna to answer a question that I've received on social media. How do I make a house feel like a home without clutter? This is something that a lot of people, if they hear about minimalism, that they they that's a question they have is, okay, I don't want my house to look so cold and unwelcoming and un uninviting. But I think we should start first by focusing on what minimalism is not. Minimalism is not a list of rules of this is what you have to keep in your house. This is what you have to keep out of your house. Minimalism is focusing on the important things, the things that you want to have in your house because it's what makes your house a home. It's what makes your home work. And so rather than focusing on the things that we're getting rid of, we focus on the things that we're keeping. We're only keeping the important things, the things that matter. And so let's let's start with the living room. You want to create an inviting, a warm atmosphere in your home. I have found actually the opposite to be true. As far as clutter taking away from making that house a home, I think that clutter does take away from creating that homey atmosphere. If you have a room that is clean, that the only things in it are the things that are important, the things that matter to your family, that is going to create a home-like atmosphere. And so start with taking a basket, walk through your space and determine what things are important for me to keep in here. Some of the stuff may need to be relocated to another room. Some things might just be something that you're like, you know what, I think I can do away with this. And if you're not 100% certain, take it and put it in a box for 30 days. And then at that point, determine whether you wanna bring it back into that space. But I think you'll find that if you focus on what you need in the space. So in a living room, you need some more comfortable for yourself and your family and your friends to sit. You need somewhere to prop your feet up, but maybe you don't need that stack of magazines that you haven't read or all of the family photos. Maybe you can just choose a few of your favorites to showcase. That can really help to go a long way to creating that atmosphere, that welcoming, homey feeling. Each night I do and my nightly routine, and includes my evening pickup where I go through and I pick up all of the clutter in the house and just make sure that the next morning I start the day fresh and on a good foot. And in the blog post, I'll link it below, you can find that video there for that. But by having a clutter-free home, a house that has been minimized, minimized, I feel that you are creating an atmosphere that's welcoming, that your family can really, really enjoy. And so I encourage you, just try with one room, go through and take all of the unnecessary clutter out. Only leave the things that are important to you and your family. And I think that you will find that you are creating a home that is welcoming and inviting and comfortable for you and your family. If you've enjoyed these videos, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified for the next videos that are coming out. And I hope that these tips have helped you to create margin for the good things in life.